What is happening guys? Cowboy here and we're back ready to go. So I already got all my stuff sold, got some stuff upgraded, went around town, opened up the three chests and the catch chest as you can see. Um, and we're ready to, to go talk to some Select folks. Cuts of the where are we supposed to go anyway? Let's see. Search of the next theory. By the bullet bling bling. And dragons. So, I mean we talked to this guy but he didn't have information about dragons. He just had the ring of the serial killer tree. One of these folks has to have red armband around them. Maybe it's at the end. I'm gonna try the end. No one else has red armbands. Oh yeah, this looks promising. Giving us a cutscene. Savid. Hey, what's up, buddy? Well, hello, sailor. <clears throat> Are you waiting for someone? Nope. Just saying a prayer for someone. Someone? Let's go. Clearly, there aren't any blood wings here. And she's going to leave? I'm right here! Everybody has times they need to be alone. Fee. Right. Coming. What do you think he was praying about? Well, for one thing, he was drinking a bottle of Thorny Forest. Oh my! The drink you share with your special someone when you're going to be married for life! How romantic! But getting your hands on that stuff is no small feat. I can only hope I'll get a chance to taste it someday. That must have had an important meaning for Savid. That's why you left him alone. Don't read too much into it. You're Velvet, right? Hey, there's our person. Huh, you must be the one who's seen the demon we're after. We saw a big snake-looking dragon fly over on the way here. Is that what you saw too? Yes, that's the one. It nests at the top of the mountain in Aldina Plains. Just there. We went to look ourselves. No dragon. It only returns to its nest on rainy days. Rainy days, you say? How convenient. Oh, just look at what you went and made the weather gods do. This doesn't bode well. Not at all. Thanks. We'll give it another shot. Back. Out. To go and get the thing. Gotta get me a dragon. Gonna hunt now. Hey there. Our meeting like this must be Providence Meow. We're in a hurry. Save it, cats. All the better, Meow. I've just stumbled upon a perfectly nifty piece of stone just for you. What's it for? It's my surfboard. <gasps> That's not a geoboard, is it? Bingo! I dug it out of some ruins, Meow. They were made by Norman Meowney years ago for surfing along Earth pulses, but I can't use it, so I figured I'd pawn it off on someone else who could, Meow. Wait, Norman made this? That doesn't exactly inspire confidence. Don't be so mean! We're capable of exceptional things! And sometimes, when a Norman speaks their own name, the board springs to life! and whisks its masters away at top speed. They'll even plow right through weak demons. You can say it's our masterwork, even if we sort of stumbled on it by accident. Huh. Well, then I apologize. So we can ride this as long as we have Pianfu with us, right? Well, kind of. Do you have to use your true name to activate it? Yeah, my true name, no. My Norman name. Wouldn't that just be Bienfu? No. 
Norman have a separate name that goes something like Norman so-and-so. It's almost more a title than a name. Often the name has something to do with what they're good at. Something like attack, or chain, or aqua. Right. You could say names like Bienfu and Grimoire are more like stage names. I actually don't know Bienfu's Norman name, but I can't wait to find out. What is your name, Bienfu? <laughs> Come on out with it. We're in a hurry. Norman Brave. Brave? Whoa, look at that! Wait, Bienfu. <laughs> your Norman name is Brave? <laughs> that is so deliciously absurd! Why do you think I've never told you before, Herbie? <laughs> at least the board works, Meow. And if we get on this board, it'll move us around? Well, about that. The board propels itself by pushing against Earth Pulse flows. To do that, the board needs information on the flows. But this one here's a completely blank slate, Meow. First, you need to find the geo trees in each area. They serve as a conduit between the surface land and the Earth Pulse's Meow. Once you've actually located a geo tree, you can record that area's Earth Pulse data into your geo board, Meow. Got it. This area's geo tree is right over there, Meow. All right then. So long as we find more geo trees. We'll be able to use the geoboard to travel much more quickly. Got the geoboard. All right, let's go straight to this tree thing. Should move faster than usual, as well as travel on previously accessible paths. Beat enemies under a certain level without starting an encounter just by touching them. However, you will not be rewarded with XP or gold. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm geo board surfing away. This honestly doesn't feel that much faster. Everyone ready to play? <laughs> Knocking it away. way harder to grab cats. Well, that's going to come in handy. Yeah, and it's a lot of fun to ride, too. I could get used to this. <sighs> I'm so worn out. I feel like I had to sprint the whole way here. Huh. Seems like operating the board saps a lot of energy from Bienfu. Even still, this board gives us a strategic advantage. Brave here will just have to bear a little exertion now and then. Yeah, Brave. Buck up. I believe in you. Be brave. Ah! Stop calling me that! Actually, probably should have just teleported all the way back to the entrance point. Oh, yeah. Ah, that would have been so much closer. Probably still is, actually. Yeah, this thing needs its speed at least up by like 50%. Can't catch me, I'm a geoboarder. Go 
I could do like tricks. Like do a kickflip and gain bonus speed or something goofy like that. Certainly will make cats farming easier. But I want to just go to a zone and zip through to get all the cats. Mr. Dragon. Right. Stoneberry. Sure as hell didn't spend a lot of time there. This thing looks angry. And just check out how much malevolence it's putting out. Which means it's not a Therian. Let's retreat. We've got no reason to pick a fight with something we can't handle. I do. Oh, you're up for it? What? What are you doing? She's right. Fighting this creature is a good way to end up dead. Oh, uh, sorry. So there's some, there's clearly some connection well, between Aizen and Dragon. No turning back now. Shed log. Man, let's only wait to martial arts and Damn it, fire. This wasn't part of the plan. Yeah, the training like this doesn't come around every day. Be on your guard. One wrong move and you're done for. I know. That's the fun part. Does it even fit? This thing I'm before. Sabine. Yeah, I see you're out for blood as usual. You knew, didn't you, Isaac? Out of my way. Are you protecting the dragon? She's not a dragon! Huh? Back off, or I'll make you back off. The dragon's like, Zafid, fuck off. Damn, it got away! <sighs> that hurts, babe. Here, we hadn't seen each other in so long. Hold it. Is that dragon... someone you knew? I told you, she's not a dragon. I 
mean, that's that's very clearly a dragon, though, to feed. So, it seems old check out my pecs and the dragon have some kind of close ties. Did I hear you right? We're talking about a dragon here. I know what I said, but how could that be? When Malakim are tainted by malevolence, a dragon is what ultimately results. So you're saying that dragon was a Moloch Zavid once knew? She must be who he was praying for back in town. Yeah, most likely. But do Malakim put out malevolence like humans do? No, not by themselves they don't. But if one remains in contact with humans or demons who do, it will eventually taint her, and she will become a dragon. What about you, kiddo? You feel anything weird after you got thrown into the Earth Pulse at the Empyrean's throne? I did, yeah. Can't say I'm surprised. The air there was thick with malevolence being sent on its way to Enominat. If I'd stayed there, I might be a dragon too. Is having a vessel not enough to prevent a Moloch from transforming? A vessel can reduce the effect, but not eliminate it. By stripping their Malachim of consciousness, the Abbey Exorcists seem to be able to inhibit the transformation. But nothing in this world is guaranteed. Can a dragon ever be changed back into a Moloch? Nope. Just like with demons, there's no going back. Do they still hold on to some part of who they were? You saw that dragon. What do you think? Well, that's... But Zavid still won't kill it. Must be his creed at work. Aizen, listen. Whatever business you and Zavid have with that dragon, I don't care. Do what you have to. But I won't tolerate you getting the rest of us involved in it again. Do I make myself clear? You've got it. Good. Now, let's get back to the Therian hunt. We'll regroup in Titania. If what Aizen said is true, then could I wind up as a dragon someday? Or Aizen too? I don't... I don't know. Well, that was rather lackluster again. <laughs> Come up here this time, get a chance to fight a dragon. Turns out to be Zabib's transformed girlfriend, and he's about hurt that we're trying to fight it. Awesome. Might as well just warp out of here. At least warp this far. Slash and then boom, 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 boom. I guess that explains our dragon connection now. Motherfucker, we need to stop. Chaining the draconic dives. Um, let's, let's use 
use this, uh, these, what kind of suck is that one? That's OA thing. OA. Hey, there's the Earth Pulse Point thing. Go away. Titles, titles, keeping tight circles. Oh, perfect timing, Eisen. I's got a letter for you. A letter? Did you get a reply to that letter you sent? What's it say? What's it say? I know everything that you've done. Repent for your horrendous deeds, you monster. What did you do, Eisen? No idea. There's no sender written on here either. Who would write something so awful? Who cares? If I gave a damn about other people's feelings, I wouldn't be a pirate. I suppose that's true. Forget about it. What's the status of the other stuff? The Palmier made it just fine. But uh, we've run into some troubles finding the Nordals. My deepest apologies. What are Nordals? Nordals used to be given out by Empyrean temples. If you collect a set of four, you find happiness. Or oh, so they said. Nowadays, there's only four left. Red, blue, green, and black. Even worse, nobody hardly knows nothing about them. Dolls of the Empyreans? Do you think they're like that one we saw of Aminoch in that shop in Isolt? Kind of. But these are less gloomy looking and more, uh... Hmm... How can I describe it? Something like a quiet radiance? A quiet radiance? <laughs> That's perfect! I... I think I get it. I'd never have pegged you as a collector of religious claptrap, Eisen. Think they'll help keep the Reaper away? Probably not. But in the off chance they actually work, they'll keep her safe. Her? Hey, that letter Eisen sent off earlier was addressed to a woman, wasn't it? <laughs> Our little Luffy said is growing up. N no I wasn't implying she was his girlfriend. Her writing just seemed more mature, and... It's nothing like that. She's my younger sister. I didn't know you had a sister. She's the only family I have left. She and I live apart for various reasons. I'm guessing your death curse is one of them, huh? Mogilu! So that's why. I'd be happy to help you look for those dolls, Aizen. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, then. Thanks. Can't use you as a merchant, what the hell? I saw Benwick and the other crew members get into a serious fight over whether cats or dogs were better. Cats. I don't clearly. get what the big deal is. I can't believe you could say such a thing! No conflict is more perilous than the one that has dogged mankind since the dawn of civilization! In the shadow of every war are the battles of dog lovers and cat lovers. Between each side lies a divide, maybe not all that deep, but unbridgeable all the same. I'd say we're lucky that the squabble you saw didn't escalate into anything more serious. I had no idea it was such a big deal. So what side do all of you fall on? I am, without a doubt, a cat person. Cats and witches have a long history together. Personally, I prefer dogs because they can cohabit with humans while following rules. But I like cats too, because they're cute. What about you, Rokuro? Shigure liked cats, so I don't. But I like dogs even less. Always wagging their tails for their masters. <laughs> I feel the same way. Dogs will trade anything for food. Learning tricks, wagging their tails, getting friendly. And in time, even forgetting to howl. I think that's too cynical. Dogs make efforts to please humans so that we can live together. They're friendly and compassionate creatures. Then does that make you a cat person, Aizen? Actually, I like squirrels best. What? When I lived with my sister, 
The nearby forest had lots of nice, fluffy squirrels that would let me pet them. This isn't about squirrels. It's about cats and dogs. You have to pick a side. If I had to choose, yeah, it'd be cats. Yes. There's something lovable about the way they act, especially when you spoil them. It reminds me a lot of my sister. What about you, Velvet? Cats or dogs? Dogs. They don't betray you. Out of my party, Velvet. You always have to be so serious, don't you? So Velvet and Eleanor like dogs, while Mogilu and Aizen prefer cats. And Rokuro doesn't care for either one. That makes you our tiebreaker, kiddo. The fate of this showdown is in your hands. It is? Now that you're no longer the Abbey's dog, perhaps you're thinking of being one for Velvet's column? What has that got to do with anything? We're just talking about which animal we like. If you're getting so angry over this, he's going to have no choice but to pick dogs. I just told you- No more fighting! This is clearly getting out of hand, so why don't you all agree that you're Bienfu people and make up already? And what makes you special enough to have Bienfu people? Because I can be loyal like a dog, but also do my own thing like a cat. If you pick me, everybody wins. I don't think it works that way. It sucks that I can't use the turtles. I'd like to upgrade some of my new stuff, but I guess this guy's here. Okay, so what have we finished? Do I finished? Oh, I finished a couple things. Maybe I haven't finished as much as I thought. Tani already though. Like we basically came here looking for something, found a dragon. Couldn't fight the dragon because of you, but it got all buggered, and now we're already leaving again. Kind of a uh kind of a fucking lackluster trip all the way out here. <laughs> anyway though, we're gonna wrap this one up here for now. Not sure where we're going next, but as you can imagine, it's probably to hunt down another Therian, so stay tuned. Catch you guys then with more.